Oh, that must be Jerome. What the hell's Jerome doing here? We didn't order any drinks. No, he and I got plans. We're gonna go down to Carver High School and look at that mural of black achievement. Mm, they got a manila folder taped over Dr. Cosby's face. What? Cleveland, you didn't tell us you had plans with Jerome. Some things are my business. You don't tell me when you play with yourself. Well, if you checked my Twitter feed, I wouldn't have to. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for- Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah! Now, wait a second. You can't do that to- A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. <laughs> now, look, I don't think- All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Hey, you guys, it's all set. I found Joe's dad on the internet, and he just emailed me to say he's coming tomorrow. All right, great, but remember, this is a surprise for Joe. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Ugh, oh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear b and b We're so happy you're staying with us. Just a reminder, we ask that you not use the DVD player, but you can watch any of the VHSs. We have Clear and Present Danger, Son of the Mask. Oh, and here's most of a puzzle. Okay, well, I don't want any of that stuff. Fine. Well, if the phone rings and we're not around, just take a message. I'm kind of on vacation. Oh, and just a heads up, the dog doesn't like men. Now, we serve breakfast from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll skip breakfast. Uh, everyone eats breakfast. I'm on vacation. All the more reason to treat yourself. The house specialty is a half-chewed trout we yanked out of the river with our teeth. God, is the best stuff. Peter, relax. Chris is just going through a phase. He'll grow out of it. Just like you grew out of your walk-like-an-Egyptian phase. Paul was a good man. A good friend. I'll... I'll always remember how supportive he was when... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't... I can't do this. Peter, I can't believe you've kept your sister a secret. She's amazing. Yeah, she's crazy strong. Like Superman on a date. Yeah, I wasn't here, but I heard her scream, so I came flying in and found her like this. It's weird. Same cause of death as those three guys in that local public bathroom. Unsolvable. Look, now that this is settled, maybe you and Glenn can put this behind you. No way! How am I supposed to be friends with someone who's in love with my wife? Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame! Shame on you! Shame, shame, shame! Shame on Q! This was serious, but it turned into something fun. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. Hey, great idea bringing the couch out here from your den, Peter. Yeah, Lois and I dragged it out here last night for a little hump sesh, so I figured I'd let it dry. Couch.
That's one of those words that if you say it over and over, it starts to sound silly. Joe, you need to take a class on small talk. You're not going to believe this. I'm in one. It sure is cloudy today. Good. You could have also responded to Janet, who said her son died. I'm sorry your son died on such a cloudy day. Where are you going? I'm going to Quagmire's to get some hand-me-downs. His dad mom sent over some boxes of men's clothes from back before the old chippity choppity. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. Hey, Brian, Mom took the car. Can you give me and my friends a ride to field hockey practice? Um, I'm kind of helping Stewie with an email to Delta. Please, Brian. It would get them out of the house. Well, that's true. And I gotta do something, because they're more annoying than ants at a picnic. Would you mind turning that down? And you're not supposed to be grilling. I know you can understand me. Yeah! Awesome! Peter, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. What are you doing? Well, I just found out about these things called apps, so that's kind of all I do now. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike! Peter, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Will you turn it off? I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there! We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. This stuff ain't that hot. Ooh, I feel like I'm crying, but, like, out of my neck and back. Oh, look at his face. He looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. <sighs> couch it is, I guess. Oh my god, the couch is gone. Where the hell is... Oh, that's right, Couchella is this weekend. Hey, man, where you been? I just had sex with a girl on her period. Dude, that's not a brag. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. This could never work. Like porn movies before sound. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. God, I like it here. But what am I doing? I don't have a fancy house. I'm living a lie, like FDR. And so I say to you, America, we are going to win this war. We're going to end this depression. And there's no reason to suspect that I cannot walk. God bless America. And cut! The newsreel's over. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, gentlemen. Now, if you'd kindly kick me into the closet with the mops. Ah, must be a yell man. Shut up. Huh, got a new email here. And it's from a Nigerian prince. It says he's got millions frozen in an account. All he needs is a hundred grand to pay legal fees, and then as soon as he gets his money, I get a million bucks. Wow, and he must need it quick, because there was like a bazillion typos in that email. You gotta send that money. You think so? Absolutely. I mean, can you imagine if you make a million bucks? You'll be happier than the guy on his wedding day. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money! Lois? <laughs> oh, no. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. Hey, um, let's move in together. Say something! And I turn around, and I don't know what happened to my wife, and now I'm all alone, and I'm just so scared. Okay, do you want to go look for your wife, or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, wow. Can you give me a break here? I clean toilet. What? 
I clean toilet. What are you doing? I'm on the john. He's okay. Please leave. Oh, okay. <sighs> this, this trash? Trash? What? No, that's a functioning lamp. No, he, he's okay. I, I take home. What the hell is happening right now? Mr. Peter, Mr. Joe, Mr. Bonnie. She doesn't know what Mr. means. Mr. Mort, Mr. Muriel, Mayor West, Mr. Oh my God, seriously. If you will all please follow me to third floor, I show you to your rooms. You are all expected for dinner at eight o'clock. Oh good, I'm starved. Settle down, will you? No, no. 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 What the hell? Come on! No drive. He's wet. Oh, hello, Consuela. You must be here for the twins. No. No take babies. I have good news and i i, I news. Okay. Give us the i i, I news first. Isabella no can come back. Stuck in Mexico. The babies, they stay here. What? What's the good news? Good news is boss get new wiper blades. No more. Well, these kids are not staying here. You gotta take them. How can I take them when I was never here? Wow, she's like the Mexican David Blaine. Wait, is David Blaine Mexican? He's something. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just reading the funnies, so keep it down. This is a very shocking family circus. Es el tiempo para muchos hornos, muchos hornos, muchos hornos, muchos hornos, muchos hornos, muchos hornos. Ay, 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 ay,
Is that Consuela? Baby all alone in street. I take baby home. It's me, Stewie. Don't you remember? You used to clean for us. We used to make you use the bathroom at the gas station. We now return to Are You Smarter Than a Hispanic Maid? Okay, Larry. Now, how does a Hispanic maid address her employer if his name is John Sullivan? Is it A, John, or B, Mr. Sullivan? Uh, I'm gonna go with Mr. Sullivan. Oh, that was a trick question. Consuela, what would you say? Uh, Mr. John. That's correct. Now, bonus question, is Mr. John home? Uh, no. No, Mr. John, no home. Don't you guys have any tub toys? Here, you rattle. This is prescription medication, and it's not even your name on the label. What, what, what is this? What's in this tub? It's jicama. Jicama? And what is... Th what, what? This is a chicken leg. Are you also making soup? For quinceañera. Big party, many people. Oh, my God. Hay un perro aquí. Doggy es aquí. I bet even you guys don't watch George Lopez. Mr. Superman, no here. Oh, uh, well, we're looking for a missing... I, uh, no, Mi Mr. Superman, he, he no, he's here. Yeah, okay, well, uh, can you just give him this flyer? I, no, no, I have no money. Just take this flyer, and if you see this baby... No, no. Okay, so sounds like no leads then, right? Oh, no, no. Doggy out. What? Out, afuera. I live here. No, no, afuera. But look, I'm trying... Ah! Hola? Uh, yes, could you please put Brian back on? No, no. Do doggy afuera. You're the new housekeeper, aren't you? Si. Listen, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm missing about a thousand dollars in play money. I take. Uh, what? what you, you took it? Si. Well, give it back! Come get, bitch. I want you to meet Consuela. Consuela, this is my husband, Peter, and these are our children. Oh, hello, Mr. Peter. Hello, Mr. Children. Consuela's gonna be our new housekeeper. Why is she wearing makeup like she's going out? Is this going out for them? <laughs> What's already broken? Can I get some covers over here? No, no. You fat keep you warm. No, no. What is with all the bad cleaning supplies, am I right? I mean, Mr. Clean, more like Mr. Hard to Clean. Fantastic, more like terrible. Windex, more like loose decks. Get off the stage! No, no, no. Maybe we should improve our business model. No, no. Improve our original content? No, no. So, we have no corporate identity? We secondary email. People used to sign up for porn sites. Oh my god, it's the dust mites! Oh no! Water Bear Consuela, can you stop them? No, no. I only clean Wednesday. Can't you just clean today? No, no. Wednesday. One day I bring my nephew to work and he molests my nephew and my nephew, he only 14 and he cry and then he shoot himself in the face. Consuela? Hey, it's Brian. I'm, I'm looking for Stewie. No, no baby Aki. I peed in your soup. Happy 15th birthday. Which, by the way, is not a special occasion in the normal world. Stewie, I've been worried sick. What the hell are you doing here? Brian, how did you find me? I used my nose, which I always forget about. Come on, let's go. No, I'm not going back. I can't. They're going to be mad at me. I didn't tell anyone. You... you didn't? No, I didn't. I... Look, I thought about it, and to be honest, it's probably my fault for leaving you alone in the car. And if you promise never to do it again, I won't say anything. Okay, I promise. My baby. What? I say let go of me. Consuela, we're leaving. My baby. Hey, she says it's her baby, man. Now get out of here. He's my baby, Ernesto. No, I'm not, I'm not Ernesto. Okay, this is so messed up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I did not want to have to do that. They were very nice to me up until then. Peter, what are you doing? She's still here, Lois. Wasn't she supposed to leave like two hours ago? I thought so. I... Go ask her what she's doing. I'm not asking her. You go ask her. Uh, Consuela? I thought you finished cleaning hours ago. Yeah, what are you still doing here? I wait for rain to stop. It's time for you to go home. It's too much rain. I stay. But it's gonna rain all night. I, I sleep here. I, I don't know about that. I sleep here. Look, this isn't Windex, but it's just as good. It's the store brand. No, no, it, it'd leave a film. I'm okay with the film. Just use it. No, no, I no can clean. Shit. Hello? I mean, Mr. Tate. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, no, shh, quiet, I, quiet. I, I, it's, it's the Emperor. Oh, it's the Emperor. tell him I no can do Friday. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, sir? Need yeah, well, he need no, to get no, it fixed. No, he no, cannot you know, drop you know, me Hello? You know, I, 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 can't, I can't hear you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the knee pad. I'm going to call you from the knee pad. I'm in the rain. What the hell? Hey, Dios mio. Oh, great course. It's one of them. What? Stewie, adults are allowed to say racist things because of traffic. Oh, my poor 98 Toyota Corolla. We all have 98 Toyota Corolla. Okay? I allow to say racist things because of traffic. No, 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 And the government wants to tell you you can't throw your old TVs into the river. Then how am I supposed to find TV? Okay, I'm expecting a very important delivery at the house, so could you please call me if it arrives? I'll give you my cell number. Okay, yes. No problem. Give me number. Okay, 401-555-1125. 4... 4-0. Four... Four 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 zero. No, no, I was just repeating the four. One four. One four. All right, let's start over. Four zero one. Four. Zero. Zero. One. One. Four zero one. Yes. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. That was painless. Okay, one, one, two, five. One, one, two, five. There you go, you got it. One, five, five. What? You say one, one, two, fives. One, five, five. No, no, not one, one, and two fives, two ones. Two, one, 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 two, five. Oh, my God. Okay, how many ones? No, no, I'm, I'm not giving you quantities of the numbers. I'm giving you the numbers. One, one, two, five. Those are the last four numbers. Okay. One. <sighs> one, one. One, one. Two. Two. Five. Five. Oh, I see. One, one, two, five. Yes, one, one, two, five. All right, now read the number back to me. L let me get my pen. And cheap copies. Okay, Consuela, I'm going to need you on your knees. And we're probably part way into it here, so one of your eyes is stuck shut. All the way shut. There are 11 of us, dear. Prime is way up. And you know why? Because they're immigrants. I say, as Americans, we should all take a pledge to kick them out. Only pledge I stand for is lemon pledge. Yes, Lord Vader. The shield will be down in moments. You may start your landing. Excellent. We'll prepare for our descent. Hey, hey, Consuela, no, no cleaning. No, cl no cleaning while I'm doing the hologram. Shut that off! M Mr. Darth, you, you no have no more Windex on Star Destroyer. Well, that's not my problem. Why don't you go out and buy some? No, no, you buy. What if I give you the money, then you can go out and buy it? No. I, I, I no can read these words. Can't believe how hard you're making me work. Well, I do have a very good virginity, Coach. No, no, no. Okay, I think I got it. How's this? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm standing here at the home of the Griffin family, chatting with their neighbors. So the Griffins might be dead. How does that make you feel? Griffin dead? I take.
No, no, they might be dead. They, they also might still be alive. He's okay. I, I take. Hey, your aunt is Consuela? Hi, Consuela. You two know each other? Oh, yeah, Lemon Pledge. No, no, all that stuff. It's time to go. Lemon Pledge. No, no. <laughs> See? Abogados. Cinco, 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 cinco. Accidente? Abogados. Cinco, 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 cinco. Uh, Consuela, does this rag smell like chloroform? No, no, it's no. I need more lemon pledge. Okay. Thanks for the ride, Consuela. And thanks for taking us on that little detour to Dollywood. Was I right or was I right? Yep, totally worth the extra two days. Whose ringtone is Barracuda? Oh, God, that's Frumpy Ann. Frumpy Ann does everything. Look, I, I gotta get this call, but don't do anything stupid. Yo, girl, how you living? Peter, we've been driving all night. Pull over to that gas station. We can use the bathroom and stretch our legs. You got it, babe. Did you call me babe? I did. Uh -huh, well, Peter. I'll pay for their donuts. Thank you so much, sir. For what? I didn't say anything. Oh. It was me. Mmm. Yummy. Donut. That's pretty good. But try it like this. Mmm, donut. Mmm, donut. Do you like sex? Eh, I don't think we're very similar. You know why they got us sitting next to each other. Uh, cause we're the two funniest guys in our towns? Damn right. I'm a Jewish clown. Me too. Are you a mayor? Yes, I am. Are you a cool mayor? I, uh, I like to think so. I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. Counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts. I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night! Don't mind me. I'm just grabbing a little cheese and vino. If anybody needs me, I'll be poolside next to my weirdly hot girlfriend with dark teeth. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. <laughs> That was the right thing to do, Peter. And don't worry, I only hired women whose names are cookie-related. Lois, meet cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, hey, butter. Some guys like butter. Hello, love. Let's have a swear. I'm not letting you do that. You can't even see. That's all right, bird. I goes by smell. I can't believe Amazon is dumping it for 99 cents. What? My book is on Amazon? Oh, yeah, Brian, there's something for everyone on Amazon. Hey, Meg. Hi, Meg. Hey, how's it going? My locker. Meg, I thought we were going to try to work on that. Yeah, free flying meat. Hey, you feel good about yourself, Jagoff? Yeah, that's right. I knocked your kid over to get a hot dog. What do you think you're better than me? What, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Give it a little test tap, see where she's at, then you're pushing all up on that fanny. Whoa, Stewie. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Who's this Stewie, huh? Yeah, I'll tell you who this Stewie is. This is day drinking Stewie on the patrol for fannies. Fanny! Yeah, fanny! What are you looking at? Let me just fire up the internet here. Gonna go to Ask Beeves. Sorry, Joe's Wi-Fi is really slow today. Ugh, I know, it's the worst. We also use his cable TV.
I like Joe. I guess you're ready for the purple room after all, huh? Yes. In fact, today was my first day. I saw that teacher at the concert with her boob out. She was, um, popular. I hope you make it. You're real good. No way. Not as good as you. I hope you make it. What are you going to do with all your money? Oh, probably just save it. Yeah, that's real smart. Well, back to my book. Oh! Now this makes it real! Oh, oh my goodness, that's enough cake for you, Mary Beth. Guys, check it out. I've got flip-up shades on my flip-up shades. Dude, you are the worst. Hey. We're all the worst. Four friends having an adventure. Four friends. Now what the hell? Adventure. Four friends having an adventure at Niagara Falls. Wish it was nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Wow, that was awesome. Well, time to break out my terrible Jewish bag lunch. Let's see. Smoked whitefish, herring and cream sauce, smoked sable. That's a different kind of whitefish. And for dessert, the only bad cookie in the world. Hey, Lois, can you pour my juice? I can't lift my arm. I still can't believe Brian bit you. It just doesn't seem like him. Oh, yeah, because you know him so well. Shut your face. Now I'm just going to reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. Ah, he's got Rupert. Hey, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Man, I love college. So many chicks, so many parties. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I'm supposed to meet the RA for coffee later in the common room, but until then, I'm just going to walk around with my shower caddy and see what people wrote on their whiteboards. Cleveland, what are you looking at? I'm on the edge. Saw Halloween 2 last night. Brian, go outside. Keep guard for Michael Myers. If it seemed like he dead, he ain't dead. Yeah, let me see what else is on. In honor of Sammy, on the bus ride over here, we all sat in the back. <laughs> Peter moves his lips while he's reading, because he's trying to eat the book. Roasted! Asked Peter what he got on his SATs. He said mayonnaise. So what's for dinner? You said we were having Italian? Yeah, and then I realized I'm not good at making fettuccine Alfredo, but I am good at making reservations. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Oh, God, I'm so bad. Stewie? Welcome to Pillow World, Bry. Let me get up and greet you. There we go. How you doing? Whoops. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What do I... What, what do I do? I, I don't... I don't know what to do now. That was a wrong choice, Peter. All right, you guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show Archer? You watch that show Archer? Here's that guy Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I guess I'm just a little on edge. I'm not getting any from Lois. Is it because Lois is going through the change? Donna's getting a tiny mustache. I told her it felt like I was kissing Ernie Hudson. That turned out to be a mistake. No man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Katherine Keener man now. But Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> Hey, Meg, Thanksgiving's over. Come help me with the Christmas decorations. Meg, help me with the Christmas decorations! I, how did, uh, why, why are you so fat? Okay, ask him about anything but his weight. Uh, uh, you act Asian, you look Native American, your name is possibly Jewish. What are you? Hey, fat. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy, mommy, where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. You ever feel the cool steel of a switchblade pressed against your temple? <laughs> hey, Mr. Griffin, I'm just kidding. Or am I? You're gonna wonder about that, you fat bitch. See you later! My God, this is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? 
Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Nothing. It's stupid. Oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. <laughs> sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. It's day three of Quahog's new ban on alcohol for anybody under 50. And if there's one thing the new drinking age law has done, it's let us know that women tell terrible stories. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No. Just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> That's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! <gasps> Stewie, you get down from there this instant! Munch me, bitch! Right now, Stewie, or you're in timeout! How many grey pubes you plucked today, you old bag? Uh-oh, there she is. Oh no! Peter, quick, change pigments! <laughs> That was close. I love my wife, Donna. I wish she and Peter's wife got along better. That's why we're on this airplane. I'm Cleveland. What the hell are you doing? This is a women's bathroom. This is hopeless. There's no way to guess what their target is. Final boarding call for the Are We Ready to Attack? We Are and Many People Will Die booze cruise. Okay, I got a feeling about that one. Guys, we'll never make it on foot. We gotta steal that kid's jet ski. Peter, the boat's right there. We'll totally make it. It's the only way, guys. Peter, we're now literally standing on the boat. That's how close the boat is. Made it. You wanted to ride the jet ski. I wanted to ride the jet ski. Here are the American spies we captured, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, he was putting us on, huh? Chevy, right? That, that would have passed for funny in one of your movies, right? Okay, moving on. Now, let's talk about... <clears throat> Stewie, can you hand me my heart medication, please? Except there's one person that does know the real me. Mmm, yeah, listen, you're not gonna like this. You were super helpful, and this, this kind of seems like a crummy way to repay you, but I'm not going to get it. I guess that's what happens in therapy, though. No, it's not. Ah, you're right, that didn't make much sense. Any indication how much longer you're going to linger? You're still pretty chatty, is, is why I'm wondering. Don't do this, Stewie. It will stay with you forever. It's kind of no bigs. Barbara! Barbara! Oh, didn't you hear her go to lunch? So, this is how you leave me. Sorry. I feel less bad. Leave a massage. That one can't be right. It's Michael. I want a divorce. This is not your day. What are you doing to Dad? What? I'm going to the grocery store. Don't forget the cucumbers, Peter. All right, where's that? Oh, hey, you're right, because of that thing we started doing. I felt dirty for an hour, but it's gone now. Now I just can't wait for night. Yeah, I wish you hadn't said that at full volume in front of our children. I can't tell if they have a really good marriage or a really bad one. I feel like it's weird, but strong, like Danny Trejo. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Call me Red Stool. The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just morning, anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me, anus. This basic anus. Decapitation in slow motion, anus. Hey, Peter, who are these guys? Oh, this is just my looping gif of black teens reacting to a very mild burn. Huh, sounds kind of pointless. Oh, you mean like your feet? <laughs> this is Marcus. Today's his first day. He's going to be crucifying you now. 
He might want to use his hammer. Uh, sorry, I'm so bad at this. Relax, you're doing fine. I do feel I know you a bit. You do feel you know me a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Well, that's that, that's that's fair. I see you're on vacation in Rio de Janeiro in this photo with your partner, I'm guessing. Or is he your husband? At a quick glance, I'd say there's roughly a 26-year age difference between the two of you. Taking into consideration the math, he was probably born at a time when the most popular name was... Michael. <sighs> I see a prescription for heart medication on that table. My guess is you keep that at the office. You don't want to worry Michael, you say to yourself, even though the truth is it embarrasses you. And your office is your haven, since Michael doesn't work and is often at home, perhaps as a result of a low-level depression that you don't really want to get into with him. You seem like a very lonely little boy. Oh my god, I am! I'm so lonely! <laughs> hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell. To the boiler room of hell. All the way down. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Um, God, will Taylor Swift and Katy Perry ever reconcile their differences? What are you looking for? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for the gay guy who can answer that one. You speak with a British accent. Yes, I'm aware. Well, I've often been told that I have a British accent. Oh? I apologize, but I can't hear it. That's odd, because everybody else does. Have you spent much time in Britain, then? No, I haven't. Excuse me? I said no! Really? Everyone hears this? The point is, Stewie has a British accent. That's like a known thing. Ask anyone. It sounds like it's very important what other people think of you. Oh, is, is that what it sounds like? To me, it does, yes. To you it does, I see, I see. When is Brian coming back? Oh, never. I'm having him euthanized. Euthanized? Oh my god! Come on, come on! Euthanize, euthanize, euthanize. Oh my god! I gotta do something! Damn it! Now I have to do that with every dictionary here! Hold on, Brian! Hold on! The point of the story is I know what it's like to feel alone and to have to pretend that you're something you're not. And I don't pretend I'm something I'm not! I never said that. You just said it! I might have implied it. Maybe I'm worried nobody's going to like me. Look, I'm different, Dr. Pritchfield. I'm not like the other kids. Have you ever thought of just being yourself? Your real self? And then see what happens? Everything about me is this carefully constructed persona designed to keep people at arm's length. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not. What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person. A loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. A loaf of milk, a container of bread, and a Joe Dirt DVD. Joe Dirt DVD, Scarlett Johansson, and treasure from a fish tank. No, not you! Oh, sorry. In fact, everyone but you! Hi, everyone but him! Hi! So what are you kids doing in school? I got in trouble for saying something insensitive to trans kids. A few of them started this acapella group, and they're all kind of chubby. So I said, you guys should call yourselves the trans fats. <laughs> Meg, you'll sit next to me this evening. But, Dad! I'm sorry, Chris, you've fallen out of favor. Perhaps forever. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! He's the only waiter we have! Lois! Our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. I'm finally ready to hear the specials. All right, here comes the fight. Get ready to eat it, Drago. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Those rusky bastards changed the movie so Drago wins. This aggression will not stand. I'm writing Vladimir Putin an angry email. 
Dear Vladimir, hope this email finds you well. I'll get right to the point. My friends and I were aghast when we saw what you did to the end of Rocky IV. Everyone knows that any American can beat up any Russian on any day of the week. Chris continues to hit the books as best he can, and his grades have shown some improvement. Stewie is growing like a weed, and Meg has become a woman in front of our very eyes. And send. I think we lost a little steam there at the end. Lyle, I'm very proud of you and your progress. You, my friend, are the greatest invention since the Trapper Creeper. Look, Peter, I'm glad you're thinking about Chris's future, but he's fine. He's a perfectly normal kid. Are you crazy? Look at him. He's over there intentionally giving himself a nosebleed. <laughs> Yay! My nose is finally a woman! <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. Hey, I, I, just to be clear, I don't really think you're a whore. I, I just need to say that to, you know, to finish. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. And obviously, I don't think you're my Uncle Dale. Good, good, same page. I'm Peter, sir. You're big for your age, ain't you, Peter? Yeah. Why, what's this? <gasps> it wasn't a trick. It was stuck to your neck. Oh, yeah, sometimes I fall asleep on candy. The holy grail for guys like us. Who is she? Margaret Woolworth, Carrington, Von Schumacher, Chanel, Astor, Livingston, Comte de Saint-Exupéry, Mountbatten, Windsor, Armani, Roosevelt, Von Trapp, Wickenham, Hearst, Montgomery, Rothschild, Johnson & Johnson, Twillsworth, Dolce Gabbana, Von Zweiger, Second Montgomery, De La Roche, Geico, Vanderbilt, Lannister, Van Buren, Butterworth, How I Met Your Mother, Wrigley, Louise, Dreyfus, Ludwig, Morgan, Stanley, Dumont, Lamborghini, Forbes, Higby, Winthrop, Chanel, Remy Martin, Fitzwilliam, Kennedy, Motel 6, Fairchild, Brooke Pritzker, Davenport, Von Stolen, Monty Python, Ellisworth, Aston Martin, Haverbrook, Ziff, Lauder, Hilton, DuPont, Kincaid, Winslow, Coors, Oviat, Marlboro, Pembroke, Huffington, Bush, Mellon, Sinclair, Mellencamp, Starbucks, Van Dyke, Third, Montgomery, Marriott, Barrington, Chadsworth, Big League, Chew, Chesterfield, Kensington, Booth, Bishop, Longbottom, Nottingham, Meisterberger, Burgermeister, Tudor, Habsburg, Rockefeller, Onassis. <gasps> you mean the heir to the Woolworth, Carrington, Von Schumacher, Chanel, Astor, Livingston, Comte de Saint-Exupéry, Mountbatten, Windsor, Armani, Roosevelt, Von Trapp, Wickenham, Hearst, Montgomery, Rothschild, Johnson & Johnson, Twillsworth, Dolce Gabbana, Von Zweiger, Second Montgomery, De La Roche, Geico, Vanderbilt, Lannister, Van Buren, Butterworth, How I Met Your Mother, Wrigley, Louise, Dreyfus, Ludwig, Morgan, Stanley, Dumont, Lamborghini, Forbes, Higby, Winthrop, Chanel, Remy Martin, Fitzwilliam, Kennedy, Motel 6, Fairchild, Brooke, Pritzker, Davenport, Von Stolen, Monty Python, Ellisworth, Aston Martin, Haverbrook, Ziff, Lauder, Hilton, Dupont, Kincaid, Winslow, Coors, Oviatt, Marlboro, Pembroke, Huffington, Bush, Mellon, Sinclair, Mellencamp, Starbucks, Van Dyke, Third Montgomery, Marriott, Barrington, Chadsworth, Big League, Chew, Chesterfield, Kensington, Booth, Bishop, Longbottom, Nottingham, Meisterberger, Burgermeister, Tudor, Habsburg, Rockefeller, Onassis, Fortune? Exactly. If we can charm her, we'll be set for life. No more scraping and scavenging like a laughing hyena. <laughs> I don't sound desperate, but I'm very desperate. <laughs> I'm not a very capable predator. <laughs> My family's back at the den waiting for me. <laughs> I think this is the day I starve to death. <laughs> Just kidding, I have no family. <laughs> Is that a Cats Protective League pin on your lapel? I like this party. Pussies. Cock. Cock. Get the hell out of my face, Brian! Quagmire? No! Quagmire! That's what I said. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't I didn't hear you because of the prosthetics. I've got no chance, have I? A tertiary character like me. You most certainly do not. I don't even think we're going to give you the dance you rehearsed. <laughs> if you can help me wrap this up, if you know what I mean. I'll split the estate with you two. But unless you're prepared to kill her, get the hell out! Happy birthday, dear Margaret Woolworth, Comte de Saint-Exupéry. I'm uh, just gonna hang here for a minute. I need you to mow the lawn. It's out of control. I can't mow the lawn, Lois. The friends of distinction are out there, grazing in the grass. Baby. Oh, let me get in on that! Where'd they go? 
Cleveland? You okay in there? Is that a diamond-encrusted watch fob? This? Oh, yeah, I I've had this. Nobody's owned one of those for 80 years. What are you up to? You already did this. I'm not trying to show skepticism. My head is too heavy. I heard the doctor whisper to Lois, 3,000th percentile. Now, to start the mower, you grab this pull cord like so and give it a nice hard yank. <laughs> Can I change my grip? It's a more familiar motion. For the rest, you can just watch this how-to video on YouTube. What's going on, guys? I'm Corey, here to take your lawn mowing skills to the next left. Did you know Corey got recruited by ISIS? He disappeared, and now there's this guy doing ISIS videos, and they think it's Corey. Ah, uh, salam alaikum, guys. This is Corey, here to talk about making a dirty bomb with stuff you can find in your kitchen. You can bring your friend over there to help you. Come on, Herbert. Rope this calf. We like to October in Zurich. Ah, yes, the best place to October. The secret, however, is to October in Zurich, but in September, to avoid the obnoxious October in crowds. Saving October for Paris, Novembering there, then Decembering in Palm Beach in November, and in December, Januarying, of course, as always, in Gustad. We December in London. You, madame, are a cream-faced loon. I don't believe you've met the Admiral. Well, he may be an Admiral, but he's certainly not admirable. Panty drop, swoon, oh! commercial. Is that medal a stretched-out carnival penny? Thank you for noticing, Count. It means a lot from a man whose top hat looks suspiciously like an Amazon Echo with a cardboard brim. Why? What, what, what a preposterous notion! Alexa? No, don't say that! Maybe we could even help each other. Exactly! Two con men like us working together we will be set like a passive-aggressive alarm clock. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the sun's been up for like an hour. No, 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 you don't have to get up. Let your wife do everything. Just keep sleeping. You're a good husband. I'm sure she doesn't fantasize about your contractor who's already downstairs working on... Well, I can't really figure out what he's working on. Oh, I know. Your wife. It's time you did all the work and I goof off with Mr. Herbert. Like hell it is. Why are you being such a jerk, Dad? Dad! Well, he often said he wanted to explode all over me. Good cohog evening. Oh, let's, uh, let's do that again. Good evening, Hog Quo, I'm Tucker Tom. Good after evening noon, Hog Tom, Quo, I'm Er Tuck. Quo, goodening noon, Tom Er Tuck, I'm Ning Ning after evening, Quo, Noon Hog. Our top story, Newport's wealthiest heiress, Margaret Woolworth, holy God, I'm not reading all that, was found dead in her home of an apparent heart attack. We're rich, Stewie! And no flip joke can take that away. Miss Woolworth, etc., etc., died owing $18 million, for which you are now liable. That's right. It was a Meg story. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> All right. Left ankle, red. <laughs> right muffin top, blue. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, God, kill me. There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. The best Chardonnay I'd ever had in my life. The man who made it, Curtis Murder Dog Williams, went on to become one of America's most celebrated vintners. Hey, Joe here. Peter's lying. He drank pee-pee. Hurry, take everything, and be quick, or we'll be in bigger trouble than a fat guy at a water park. Come on, Dad. Let's go on the water slide. <sighs> I can't fit. I'm afraid I'll get stuck. I'll just go in the lazy river. But, Dad... No, son. This is the life I've chosen.
I should probably say no, but I've never been known for my good judgment. I mean, that's how I got into trouble with the Peter catcher. Oh, Peter! Come and get your lollipops! Lollipops! Come along, Peter! Peter, you mustn't! I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts! Trinkle tarts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so molested. We now return to The Price is Right, now with male models. Let's look at this beautiful new car, presented by Ken. I don't want it. Peanut, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween! We want candy! Hey, Quagmire, aren't you gonna get in on this? Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of got my own game going on over here. Hey, guys, let's play a party game. Let's go stand over near Brian, and we'll take a drink every time he says bonerific. Bonerific? Yeah, it's his catchphrase. He says it all the time. Yeah, sure, okay. I'm here. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> hey, hey, Brian, how you feeling tonight? Good. Having a nice time. Are you feeling terrific or any variation on that word? Oh, sure. No complaints. My skin's a little dry. He's not saying it, Peter. What? No, why would I say that? It's not even a word. What isn't a word? Bonerific. Ah! Did I tell you? You can't keep this guy from saying it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. Ah! Where the hell's Peter? I'm almost done doing the 45 minutes of stuff a woman my age needs to do right before bed. Ugh, I can't even remember why I sleep in this belt anymore. Hey, Chris, don't tell your mom I threw up in the crock pot. Peter, it's me. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go tell Chris something gross. Just come to bed. All right, fine, but I'm not gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna fart super hot. Get up. You're on my side of the bed. Peter! We act like we didn't take a lot from The Simpsons. We took a lot from The Simpsons. God, it would have been real easy to bring a gun in here. Where the hell'd they go? Oh, whoops. was Patty. She's got a smoking hot body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. You can tell people. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, 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 with these kids waiting for the song to end. Yankee Doodle went to town. Now I know my ABCs. Uh, you're gonna start dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. What, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. <laughs> Look nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. Oh, look, Peter. Here's something from your mother's estate. Oh, looks like they finally sold our house. And the last white domino in that neighborhood falls. Wow, they sold it? 
So that means the house and everything inside of it is gone? Oh, sweetheart. You thinking about all the good times you had there? No, I'm thinking about my teenage porn stash. It's still hidden in the house. Uh, okay. But I know this is really about the memories. Lactating sluts on box springs. The, the, the special times growing up. Bikini black chicks sneezing. Lewis, stop making him reminisce about stuff. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. The Microsoft Surface confirms it. Microsoft Surface. My Samsung Gear S2 watch says the same thing. Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire. What's up? Hey, Peter, I, I need some help with my computer. I can't find my photos. Did you look under photos? What is that? It's a folder called photos. Yeah, I, I don't have that. I just have 40 folders all called new folder. OK, you know what? Click on your hard drive. OK, now, now the arrow on the screen, that's me, right? Yeah, yeah, that's you. Okay, now, now, now just... Whoa, 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 there's a calculator on this thing? <sighs> Listen, Quagmire, what are you trying to do? I just want to put pictures of my cat on everyone's internet computer. Like, how do I do that? Okay, wait, there's an agreement that just popped up. H hang on, let, let me read the whole thing. Just hit accept. Well, that seems a little foolhardy, doesn't it, Peter? Look, do we have to do this now? I'm watching something. I know, I'm sorry. I I'm just nervous that somebody else is going to get pictures of their cat on the internet first, and then I'll always be known as the second guy to get pictures of his cat on the internet. Quagmire... I don't know how to tell you this, but there's already cats on the internet. Wait, it's it's giving me that pinwheel thing. It it it's frozen. It, uh, oh my god! Oh my god! It crashed. The whole thing just crashed. Jeez, Quagmire, calm down. We'll figure it out. No, Peter, the whole thing's fried. I can't even. Ah! Oh, damn it! What the hell? Hey, you clicked accept. Okay, Natalia, level with me. Why are you really here? I have been sent to neutralize liberal Jewish dissident Fivel Mouskevitz. Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya! I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh! You killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew mouse! Ha ha! Okay, all right, I'll see you Tuesday. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God, just awful. Well, you give them my best. Okay, I gotta go. Stewie and I are headed out to the beach. Oh, I didn't tell you? He's learning to swim. Oh, I got him the cutest swim trunks at Coles. You've never been to Coles? Well, let me tell you about Coles. <sighs> all right, well, you know the mall with the chilies? It's across the street. Ah! Bonnie? Bonnie, are you there? What happened? Let's go. You know what, Peter? Uh, maybe there's a silver line into this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. He does seem sharper. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. Ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Come on, Stewie, we're going. Just a moment, Brian. I'm pretending I'm a fireman. I love playing pretend. My name's Peter, and I work in the brewery. Now I'm going to put on my pants and go talk to my co-workers that these pants have stool in them. All right, guess who just wrote ten facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? Is one that he's Jewish? Guess who just wrote nine facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? He likes classic cars. Guess who just wrote eight facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? You probably said he was Jewish a second time. All right, new article. One fact you didn't know about Michael Richards. You can't use that word in an article. And I will find a new show to write about. Well, you look a lot better. I did it, Brian. Through sheer force of will, I kicked my addiction to breast milk. I just had to find a way to make breasts seem repulsive. Yeah, how'd you do that? I watched In the Cut. Meg Ryan topless. No thanks. No thanks. Stewie, Mommy has a surprise for you. What are you doing? Oh, Brian, I thought I was ready to wean him, but I, I just missed the bonding. 
Uh, no, 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 put me down! I beg of you! I just kicked the stuff! Damn you! You sick, twisted! I hate you! I love it! I will kill you! Hey, what are you working on? Ah, oh, just trying to make some sense of these numbers. <laughs> what the... What did you hit? What happened to my spreadsheet? What exactly was the end game if I hadn't walked in? Put this on. Why? Because I'm skipping my physical to go have steaks with the guys, and I don't want Lois to know about it. Um... Okay. Lois, I'm going to my physical now. Okay, honey, I'll see you later. Um... What, what the hell, I'll just ask it. Why do we need the horse suit for that? But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. Ow, damn, that hurts. What happened? I was breastfeeding Stewie and he bit me again. I think he might have even broken his skin. I see. Um, maybe I should, uh, you know, uh, look at it, uh... I, uh, I, I have seen a lot of medical shows. You see, the areola is very tender here, and I think one of his new teeth may have bitten down right on the duct. I'm sorry, what? I don't know what to do, Brian. Breastfeeding's just so painful since Stewie's teeth are coming in. Now I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. Well, maybe it's time to wean Stewie. Huh, I suppose it would make my life easier. You know what? I'll give it a try. Thanks, Brian. No problem. Uh, any any other problems you have too? Like, for example, ar around your underpants that you want me to take a look at? I could I could take a look at, at at that too. Huh? Please pull down your underpants. Um, what's the name of this place? Dicks. And and what's that say on your shirt? Dicks. Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Start the car, Chris! Did you get him yet? We got him! I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sending a selfie to Bonnie and Donna. Rose, bitches! Don't hit Sam! Please don't, Please hit, don't Sam. hit Sam! And send! You son of a bitch! I told you! What did he do now? He don't listen to you! He don't listen to you! That's enough. Have it your way, Brian. I myself am a student of the pleasures of the flesh. <sighs> Listen to your lover, Brian. Oh, hey, Peter. Come on in. Thanks for coming by. Uh, no problem, buddy. Here, I brought you something. I figured anyone living alone with 73 cats needs to have a double XL Minnie Mouse sweatshirt. Thank you so much. This won't fit at all. It's perfect. So how's it going? Well, not bad. Got plenty of company. Well, that's good. I haven't seen you at the clam. Well, I've been pretty busy. So can I get you something to drink? Sure. What do you got? Well, I've got water with cat hair in it. Eh, anything else? I've got lemonade with cat hair in it. Eh, kind of a summer drink. Anything else? Oh, sure. Cat hair ginger ale? Mm, nope. Cat hair iced tea? Eh, again, summer. You want to just take a look in the fridge, see what I got? Sure. Someone just had kittens in my mouth. That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir. Everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Uh, I guess 60%? Okay, great. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you- Ah! Oh, you spilled something. You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. Screw off. I don't want anything to do with you or your damn laws. Oh, just take a look, will you? <sighs> You're banning straight-to-video Disney films? Absolutely. I mean, look at this. Aladdin 4. Jafar may need glasses. Number one. Number two. Um, number one, number two. Um, about the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three, number four. Number three. Five and six. Uh. Five and six.
Uh, about the same? Yeah, they're pretty much. Can I see five one more time? Five and six. Yeah, they're about the same. Damn it, Swanson, I want them found. Mayor West, we have every available man looking for the Griffins. We just don't have any leads. Not the Griffins, you moron. The rest of my light, bright pieces. My name isn't Adam Wee. Or is it? Who am I? What number did you dial? Don't ever call here again. I guess I told him. Nobody messes with Adam Wee. Dad, can you pass the bread? Sure. But don't forget the butter that looks like decorative bathroom soaps and is impossible to smear. Thanks, Dad. This really ruins it. Hey, uh, Joe. Oh, don't say it, Peter. No, I was just wondering, uh... Peter, I swear to God. What's your handicap? Oh, 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 every hole. That's a joke that just doesn't get old. All right, Chris, this is one of the oldest hobbies in existence. Drinking. Hey, hey, good times. Just walked in. Hey, oh, hey, he can't be in here. He's not 21. All right, just hang out here for a little bit, huh? All right, I'll see you later, gang. Hey, Chris, what are you doing here? This is supposed to be a camp. What am I paying for? God, I could have gone pro if it wasn't for my bum knee. Well, I'm glad all that controversy is over and we got our old Peter back. But I kind of miss Meg. Oh, yeah, that's right. She got traded to American Dad. I hear she's doing great. Good morning, USA. Ba da ba da ba stands the dad and the aliens gay. And then there's a fish and a boy and a girl. Hey! Shut up, Meg. Oh, so it's just gonna be the same? Yep. Yeah. Peter, you joined the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So I drove to work this morning? <laughs> Stop for coffee? <laughs> so there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> you people are a circus. Okay, look, Dad is really easy. All you have to do is sit on his lap, give him a big kiss on the cheek, look him right in the eye, and he's butter. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, the scouts are no fun, and I Oh, wait a minute. Chris? I am going to stand up, walk out of this room, and we will never speak of this again. Oh. So what's the big deal? It's normal for a boy his age to be curious. I remember when I first noticed girls starting to develop. Welcome to eighth grade orientation, everyone. Uh, locker assignments will be handed out in the library after lunch period. Uh, if you have any questions about your locker assignments or your class schedule, uh, please. Now let's move on to the washing of the hands. This is a very important part of the ceremony. Hey, hey, hey! The Easter Bunny is here! Happy Easter! Peter, what the hell are you doing in that? Have you been drinking? Not since I got out of the car. Who here thinks I can kick my ass? Peter, you are not gonna ruin the Seder. Now get out of here! I'm sorry, kids. I just wanted to help Brian run for mayor. I guess I forgot what was really important. Peter, just go lie down. All right, I'm going to go lie down, and then I'm going to come back and mess up your shader. Well, uh, I, I was going to call him, but uh, my, my favorite episode of Different Strokes was on. You know the one where Arnold and Dudley get sexually molested by the guy who owns the bike shop? All right, now I want you boys to scream real loud at my ass. I don't know, Stewie. If you ask me, the stock market's just a rigged game where the top 1% make out like bandits and regular people get hurt. Are you reading off a teleprompter right now? No. The prompter's down. What do we do? Brian, vamp. So, great to be in Quahog, Rhode Island today. That's why he's the best. No, 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 I want to zip it. It's okay, Peter, you're good at other stuff. Stewie, what are you doing? Having a funeral, Bri. Say goodbye to evil Stewie. Did we get a pool? 
Is this a pool? Out of my way, Peter. Me and my new friends are gonna go surf gliding and try to somehow work a mountain bike in there. You've changed, Joe. Like I did when I went through puberty. Hey, you guys feel like playing some baseball? Excuse me, I'm gonna go masturbate. No drugs. She's good. He's clean. Well, looks like that's it, except for the flight crew. <laughs> hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? How, how good are you? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! Peter, nobody here would steal from you. Oh, no one had a motive, Lois. You all had a motive. Every one of you. You knew that I changed my will and left everything to the record. And that's why you wanted the record out of the way. Meg wanted to get a passport for her twin sister to get her out of the country, but the record wouldn't allow it. But Meg didn't count on me discovering she has no twin sister. And that Meg herself was recently released from the sanitarium. And that's where Chris came into the picture. So you got it all figured out, do you? You couldn't leave well enough alone. You won't fire at me, Chris. You don't got the stomach for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey. Meg! What the hell are you doing in here? Shower time. Yeah, for me! Not, not for... What are you doing with that loofah? Don't worry about it. Ah! You told me not to worry about it! I should have been worried the whole time! Whoa, 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 that sounds expensive. Can't we just do something fun here at the house? It's just as relaxing. Hey, guys, I've decided I'm going to take up the drums. I'll, I'll stop, stop packing. packing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Peter, are you all right? Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. We can't do that. Don't you know a lot of discarded electronics end up in the ocean and kill sea turtles? Well, then, let's cut out the middleman. I'm sorry, there's a new phone. Ah, oh, this sucks. Can you believe I'm stuck with Meg driving me around? Dad, it's just you and me in the car. Yeah, don't remind me. It's bad enough I got a suspended license. I got to ride around town with stinky McPoop pants. I want apple juice. Dad, you left your apple juice at home. I want apple juice. <sighs> you want to watch SpongeBob? Yes, with apple juice. SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 Hey. Hi, Chris. Hello, Peter. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. Anyway, I thought him sharing that beer with me was the coolest thing ever. And I know nowadays things are different, so I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. Ah, that feels... That feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm gonna take a hike. You're more useless than Aquaman! <laughs> Scream all you want. Nobody can hear you out here. I can. Aquaman, help! Hey, 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 let her go. Or what? Or, or, I don't know, man, but you're, you're lucky you're not doing that over here in the ocean, or else, or, or I would stop you. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, oh, if you don't like starfish, you're gonna be mad about what I just did. Oh, God, help! Oh, you're in for it now, buddy. I got like five fish coming to help. Oh, oh, here they are. Help! He's hurting me! Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. Just waiting for my breakfast. 
Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois, I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me. Oh, now I'm sad. Whoa, 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 that sounds expensive. Can't we just do something fun here at the house? It's just as relaxing. Hey, guys, I've decided I'm going to take up the drums. I'll, I'll stop, stop packing. packing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Connie, beating up that Jewish kid made me popular. Come on, girls, let's go upstairs and make out. <laughs> Oh no, Connie's been hurt. I guess I should lie on top of her to keep her warm. What are you looking at? It's a cartoon. Peter, I want you to meet your family. Your... my family? That's right. These are your children. Dad, I'm Chris. I I'm your son. Never seen you before in my life. Wow, then I must be invisible! Hey, everybody, I'm invisible! Oh, no, you're not. Hot diggity. Peter, where the hell are you? You told me you were going to clean out those boxes in the basement and put them in the attic. Lois, it just sounds like busy work. It is busy work. I'm trying to keep you off the streets and off drugs. I'm selling those candy bars. Hey, 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 you want to buy some candy bars so we can get some new uniforms for our baseball team? Where'd you get those candy bars? Chris! Stewie! Oh, my God. All right, don't freak out, Peter. Don't freak out like you did when your goldfish died. Here you go, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. It's okay. You don't have to eat it now. You're just sleeping. You'll eat it later. You'll eat it later, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. Ah! Who's that? Who are you? Where's Peter? Where is he? You're a whore. Wear your whore makeup, you whore. Is somebody in there? Occupado. Filthy whore. You're somebody's father, you filthy whore. And besides, today's Dolph Lundgren's birthday. And me and the guys always celebrate it by watching Rocky IV. Fine, we're probably better off without you. You always find a way to embarrass us at my parents. Please pass the all fruit. Pass the Polana all fruit. Pass the Polana all fruit. Would you please pass the jelly? Oh! <laughs> Hi. We're concerned that many of you Family Guy fans under 40 didn't get that reference, so I'm going to take you through the actual commercial. Okay, typical 80s stuffy brunch. Please pass the all fruit. Clearly the matriarch, she's got the most pearls. Pass the Polana all fruit. Weird sexual tension there. Pass the polenta all fruit. Okay, okay, watch. Here's where it all goes to hell. Would you please pass the jelly? See, he called it jelly. All right, now, now what I don't get is, if they know this guy, why are they surprised by the way he talks? Right? And if they don't know him, why is he at the table? Okay, now you have the information that would have made that funny had you had it going in. I'm not loving this night vision setting. Maybe I should try Night at the Roxbury vision. You, me, you. Ah! It puts the bullet in the fat guy. And I'm still a young woman, Peter. 82 is the new 74. I'm putting my fine ass back on the market. Boy, this is really going to upset my evil brother Thaddeus. Yeah, this will surely affect my inheritance. Yeah. I got it. Ah, huh, says Glenn Quagmire. But if you squint and imagine it says Peter Griffin, it says Peter Griffin. Peter, it's Quagmire's. Take it next door. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, this poses a very difficult ethical dilemma. 
Do I deliver the package to its rightful owner, or do I open it up and see if it contains He-Mans? Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes, one in which I don't open the box, and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. Ah, oh, sweet, it's a whip! Peter, be careful with that thing. Remember, we're renting this house. That's depressing. Wow. I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! Why is there a dusty gas station and a Diet Pepsi machine in your office? Because your car broke down and you need to wipe a cold soda on your neck to cool off. Well, may maybe I don't need to cool off. Maybe you don't need to be employed. It's hot in here, isn't it? Yes. You need to cool off, don't you? I need to cool off. You need to wipe your neck with the soda can. I need to wipe my neck with the soda can. Do it! Now get out of here, you slut. Okay. Can I keep the soda? Oh, all right. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Oh, this is so exciting. You know, this is the 10th year my father has raced his yacht in the Newport Regatta. Man, I hope he lets me on his team this year. I haven't been part of a team since I was with the Four Peters. <laughs> These are wonderful, sweetie. Uh, Chris, why don't you put these upstairs in your closet so we don't lose them? But the evil monkey lives in my closet. Of course, he hasn't been as evil since he became a Jehovah's Witness. Oh, I know you're tired, Stewie, but you can sleep all you want in the car. Ugh, 6 a.m. I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. Hey! That was Roxette with You've Got the Look. It's 21 o'clock and still 27 centigrade out there. Hook that's hot. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the Shevi Desert, turn up the decibels, because it's Shaleb Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2, the Hach. All right, Rupert, here we go. Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Hey, Lois, you remember that time you and me made it under the boardwalk? <laughs> when I go back to school, my greaser friends are gonna say, tell me more, tell me more. And I'm gonna say you were a slut. <laughs> that was the first time I noticed you didn't have an ear. What? Never mind. India, the most spiritual country in the world. God is not here. Jeez, that's all my life is lately, just a bunch of chores. I'm sick of Lois always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Don't live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! What are you doing? Turn that chainsaw off! Not a chance, Lois. You know how hard it was to get that thing started? It was even worse than trying to cover anything with saran wrap.
Oh. Perfect. Can't wait to throw that out in two weeks. I got a story about a fat guy who's starving and bored. Look, Peter, if you're that hungry, go down to the dock and find Daddy and we'll get dinner started. You're not going to get dinner started. She's going to tell that sloppy old Spanish maid to do it. And she will, but only because she needs money to pay for medicine for her prematurely overweight son, Diabito. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. You guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show Archer? You watch that show Archer? Here's that guy Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show Archer. Now what if those guys met? Hey Archer, it's Bob. Hey Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. What? Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Whoa, sweet bod. You lift, bro? What the hell is going on? I sent you to pick up dinner an hour ago. What are you doing with that cutout? You know what, Lois? I'm glad you found out. I can't carry on the charade anymore. I have an announcement to make. No, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I know I've been able to keep this a secret, but Kathy and I are not actually working on a project together. We're in love. You're an idiot. My lawyer will call your lawyer. Ugh, this is the stupidest thing he's done since he got in a turf war with that cat. Hey, shut up! Okay, this is the one. Son of a... Some of these might actually be worth something. Look at this. Beatles, Rolling Stones. Oh, my God. I haven't seen this one in forever. L look at this. Queen News of the World. Check it out. Ah! Whoa, what's the matter? What the hell is that? A killer robot monster? No, it's News of the World. It's an album by the band Queen, see? Ah! Stewie, relax. No, Brian. You keep that thing away from me. Is it, is it looking at me? Can it see me? Man, you're really scared of this thing, huh? Does it eat little boys? I don't know. Maybe, if it's hungry. Ah! 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 Here's 50 bucks. I'm taking this album. Okay, all right. Last one across the highway to Applebee's has to pay. You got across at the light. Shut up. What did you say? Oh, we doing this? We doing this? You're damn right we are. Watch out. I got God on my side. I will kill you. Oh my god! Everybody, this is Joan. Hi. Hello. De uniden, hablen death are with hal uniden, let hansed de un quagmandir. Dena den re dun hebeldeth mithrendir ve on hel hesano. Okay, if anyone has drugs, it's high school kids under the bleachers. Hey, Daddy O's, anyone want to blast off to Mars? No, uh, what? Well, what I'm saying is, I'm Lucy. Where's the sky with diamonds? Excuse me, ma'am. Are you lost? No, I want pills. Give me pills. Aren't you kids doing drugs under here? No, we're picking up trash and organizing a Black Lives Matter rally. Ah, oh, how could you be so selfish? Hey, daddy -o. They don't have drugs. Later, alligators. Peter! 
dead? What do you think you're doing, Peter? You were raised Catholic. If you forsake your religion, you'll spend eternity in hell. Oh, God, I don't want that. Then you better knock off all the Jewish stuff. Well, all right, if that's what you think is best. Oh, wait, Dad, before you go, can you say, Peter, you must go to the Dagobah system? Peter, you must go to the Dagobah system. <sighs> Thanks. And now I can take my revenge on McBurgertown. Wait, what? It's their fault I had a stroke, Brian, and I'm going to sue him for it. Peter, you ate 30 hamburgers. It was your own fault. Yeah, besides, Peter, those companies have huge legal divisions. You can't fight that. I'll find a way. With the help of my snarky cat lawyer, Meowsy McDermott, you've got to be kidding me. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Do me next. I'm getting something. I see you in London. I think it's the 1800s. Oh, my. You were Jack the Ripper. Giggity. Joseph Smith discovering the Book of Mormon. Oh, an old Con Ed bill. I mean, a New Testament of Jesus Christ, everyone has to sleep with me. What? And no- I don't know, you guys. This is my job, and I can't have you fooling around getting into trouble. Hey, when the hell do I get into trouble? Well, didn't you get lost in the grocery store last week? <laughs> Are you okay? No, I came in with my wife and now I can't find her. Oh, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! Peter, you want another waffle? I can't, Lois. I promised Janice I'd take a shift. Can I get two eggs scrambled on toast? Sure thing, honey. Adam and Eve on a raft, wreck them. I'd like a hot dog with ketchup and some jello, please. Paint a bow wow red and a side of nervous pudding. Can I have a well done burger with lettuce and tomato? Burn one, drag it through the garden, pin a rose on it. Can I use your bathroom? Got a telephone pole heading to the swimming hole, spray it with sunshine. Really? Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. Peter, it's been eight hours, and I haven't heard back from Cleveland or Quagmire. I even tried Joe. This is my wheelchair. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my wheelchair is useless. Without my wheelchair, I am useless. Shut up! Okay. Just get your toothpick, and let's get out of here. Ugh, no thanks. That old lady has ruined toothpicks for me, just like how Meg ruined broccoli. Hey, Meg, look. They're little trees. No, they're not. They're not? And it's all because of our friendship, Hudson. You really mean that? You bet I do. And I always tell it like it is. Like when I used to write tombstones. Complained a lot is what she did. Chris, what's all that lotion for? Are you a scientist, Mom? I'm a scientist. It's for masturbating. This is awesome! I can get people to pay me ten bucks just for doing stupid stuff? Man, I haven't made money this easy since I invented the Yankin. Peter, what's wrong? Well, I want to masturbate, but I'm just so darn cold. Too bad there's no answer for that problem. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of the Yankin. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing the Yankin, the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hands are under the blanket, going to town. Peter, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's watch a Scarlett Johansson movie. But wait, there's more. We have Yankets for all occasions, sporting events, at the supermarket, on the job. Hey, what's going on under that blanket? You'll never know. Oh, you know, this is why... You, Brian, you remember the last couple of weeks I kept saying, can I have a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. Look, I, Wait, what? This evening is ruined. The whole evening is ruined. Why are you saying it like that? Saying what? I'm just pointing out the party's ruined. You know what? I'm not going to get sucked into this. Okay, just so I'm sure, really? 
Are, are, are you just trying to piss me off, or is that really how you say that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this ruined evening. That's not how you say ruined. What? Ruined? What do you call the remains of ancient Greek structures? Ruins. And how would you describe this evening? Well, ruined, of course. This evening is ruined. Say ruined. 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 Dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. I haven't been this... Since I... I, I don't... I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, but... Oh, there's track star Wilma Rudolph. Obviously, she had something to do with the gag, but I didn't hear the setup, so I don't really know the, the context. Hey, I wonder what Peter's up to. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action, That 80s Show, Wonder Falls, Fast Lane, Andy Richter Controls the Universe, Skin... Girls Club, Cracking Up, The Pits, Firefly, Get Real, Freaky Links, Wanda at Large, Costello, The Lone Gunman, A Minute with Stan Hooper, Normal Ohio, Pasadena, Harsh Realm, Keen Eddie, The Street, American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Ah, crap, it's busted. And I bet it's completely traumatized. I wasn't traumatized, actually. It was planned. Part of the games we play. I've been a bad drone. You think this might be the end? I don't know, but now's our chance. <sighs> I hate myself for doing this. Is that a Cat's Protective League pin on your lapel? Why, yes. <gasps> It's my favorite charity. I love cats. I've devoted my life to helping them. I like this party. Pussies. Cock. Cock. Hey, let's take a man-sized poop in his cat box so he thinks there's something really wrong with him. There it is. Rock and roll! Yeah, shaving time! All right, hand me the razor. Oh, my God! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives. Six. Five. Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. Uh, Lois took the bike. Hey, wait a minute. This is a great time for me to do my Suzuki Samurai promo. Are you a Hawaii scumbag? Do you chug energy drinks in Arizona? Suzuki Samurai. Ninja name? Garbage car. I, I, I've been trying to teach Chris how to be a man, you know? First, I tried teaching him how to eat an Oreo. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. <laughs> then I tried teaching him how to get out of paying a check. Uh, waiter? There's a dead guy in my soup. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Of course your soup is gratis. Thank you. Now your turn. Waiter, there's a dead guy in my... <laughs> now, kids, you don't have to call her mom right away, but I do want you guys to get along. Just give her a chance. I think you'll like it. Maybe she'll let us do things that Lois won't let us do. Yeah! Hey, Mom, can I pull my pants down? If she doesn't answer, does that mean yes? That's what I've been going with. Yay! <laughs> I want to get in on that. <laughs> Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Put me through to the Pentagon. Do you know what sound a cow makes? Don't toy with me, Ernie. I've already dispatched with Mr. Hooper. I've got six armed men stationed outside Big Bird's Nest. And as for Linda? Well, it's rather difficult for a deaf woman to hear an assassin approach now, isn't it? Can you count to three? Oh, indeed I can. One, two, three! Can I count to three? For God's sake, I'm already shooting at a fifth grade level. Well, let's see what fascinating pubescent treasures Chris has got hidden away. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks... Ah, ah, oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! You can't hurt anyone 
anymore. Oh my God, I attacked Lois. What the hell was I thinking? I'm a rapist. I'm, I'm no better than Kobe Bryant or Mike Tyson or Reagan. Hey, Brian, uh, another categories question. The category is type of pet. Herbert put Cambodian. That's not right, right? Yeah, where's Peter? Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. That is it! You are officially kicked out of this club! What? Griffin, we just had an opening. Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh my god, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. We're taking a party bus to the game. A bus for partying? Oh, that sounds awesome. Like a pair of Pete's headphones. Oh, yeah, come on by. Mi ritmo, when no pa goes up. Well, da da, ba ba da, ba da da, ba da 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 da, ba da 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 da. Waiter, have the chef prepare a bucket of your finest caviar and then give it a helicopter tour of the city. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. I hope it enjoys it as much as that main lobster I ordered. And over there is the Rhode Island State House, the second largest self supporting marble dome in North America. Why the f am I doing this? I could have just said I did it. Damn you, ice cream. Come to my mouth. How dare you disobey me? What are you looking at, you, you infantile, stupid? That's right, damn you and such. You can. You burn in hell. You don't have any of those things. How do you know? Peter, face it, you're a terrible liar. Ha. <laughs> huh. It was you. I'll tell you what you should do with it. Absolutely nothing. That's the problem with this world. Too many people go overboard with what they believe. Like Quagmire when he thought he was the one getting the spinoff. See you later, bitches. Have fun with your stupid giant chicken jokes in your Conway Twitter. Hey, why is there a moving truck outside Cleveland's house? Is Netflix streaming the right choice for you? Well, if you like movies in HD, then Frozen Pixels, then HD again, the answer is yes. And if you love the golden year of movies, 2003, then we might have some of what you're looking for. Netflix streaming. Buffer for 20 minutes, then watch 35 minutes of a movie with Jason Statham. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Chris. You look nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Eh, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. He's a little cranky from teething. Oh, I can fix that. No, 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 good God, man. One can only imagine what foul regions that finger has erstwhile probed. There you go. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts. Wow, those are the Russian people? I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. So what do we do now? We're undercover U.S. agents in a hostile foreign territory. We just got to make sure we don't do anything that makes us stick out. Hey, they're not bears on unicycles. You are under arrest. Oop, time to lose this costume. Because <laughs> we're in Russia. Thanks, Tom. Yes, quite an ordeal for Cole Hogg's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Yeah! Awesome! Peter, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. What are you doing? Well, I just found out about these things called apps, so that's kind of all I do now. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike! Peter, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Will you turn it off? I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there. We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. 
God, it would have been real easy to bring a gun in here. Big whoop, I can do that. Oh my God, Erica! You killed Erica! Fantastic. Good morning. I'm your instructor, Cody Spraytan. Are you ready to pedal so hard your periods go away? Yes, it's not healthy, but it's convenient. Now we're going to sprint while I tell a distracting personal story about how I almost met Adam Levine. It's 2016. It's Vegas. I'm coming off a horrible breakup. First pool party in, I see who I think is a dirty man with tattoos, and I'm like, ugh. But then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. But you're just a fraud, like Moses. And the Lord's 11th commandment, Moses gets to be first in line at the buffet. What? Oh, seriously? I know, you guys, it's so lame, but that's what it says. I'm Brian Griffin. Boo! Boo! Brian Griffin! Boo! I want to read a few words. Boo! Liar! Boo! Brian Griffin! Boo! Anyway, I, I want to... Boo! Apologize somewhere else! Boo! Boo! Brian! Boo! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today to apologize. Why did you say ladies first? That's sexist. It's just it's just a, a standard greeting. L l let me start over. Gentlemen and ladies. Who says the man? You know what? <laughs> I'm not a racist, all right? I just told a bad joke. There's a huge difference. But nobody on the internet ever takes the time to ask themselves, is this worth freaking out over? Or are there bigger problems in the world than this tweet? Well, I assure you, there are. And just for the record, I love black people. I watch tons of black porn. This stuff ain't that hot. Ooh, I feel like I'm crying, but like out of my neck and back. Oh, look at his face. He looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. She's got a smoking hot body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. You can tell people. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? I thought this was a recovery day. No days off, bro. Hey, Francesca Louise Alessandro. Good news, I found your Instagram. Did you see the 90 photos I liked in a row last night at 2 a.m.? Also, who's at Becky Fitness 96 and can you tell her to unblock me? Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Well, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have the whole mess behind us. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? Well, I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? Oh my god, the couch is gone! Where the hell is- Oh, that's right, Couchella is this weekend. Hey man, where you been? I just had sex with a girl on her period! Dude, that's not a brag! No, uh, this mattress was expensive and I'd like to keep it nice for a little while. Are you serious? We can't do it? For how long? I don't know, Let let's just keep it new for a few weeks. A few weeks? Oh, come on, you know I'm terrible at waiting for things. We'll be right back with more Laverne and Shirley. But I want it now! Hello, Peter. We're not joining your team. I'm putting together a team. We're in. Good. Let's shake hands like tough guys. Some of your sweat went in my mouth. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Holy crap, this place is amazing. And just think, this is where Helen Keller used to eat when she went here. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, girls. Helen? I'll be as popular as the first kid in school to get his driver's license. Hey, heard you got your license. 
Maybe after school you could take me to get some groceries. Yeah, or maybe you and me hop in that car of yours and do some grocery shopping. Looks like you have a roomy back seat. I'd love to fill that with groceries after school. Hey, it's Stewie. All I know about cars is what my mom does. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. This could never work. Like porn movies before sound. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. Sweet. Which movie should I start with? Backdoor Sluts 4. Eh, I haven't seen the first three. I wouldn't know what's going on. Here we go. I want to watch all of these movies non-stop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. Well, Chris, we've looked all over town. Might as well check here. This is where dollar bills come to die. Wait, Grandpa, look! I don't believe it! Oh, no. Now we'll never find it. Hold on. I got an idea. Hey, can I turn off everything but the black lights? Sure, I don't care about anything. Cool. Wow, this place is gross! Yeah, the NBA All-Star game was in town last week. Hey, Lois, check out what I found with my metal detector. Are those... are those purple hearts? Yeah, some idiot buried like a hundred of them in this big lawn under these bone cages. Peter, I think you desecrated a military graveyard. Hey, guys, like four Jeeps just drove up onto our front yard. Oh, they must be here for the medals. Maybe. Or it could be because of my I'm gonna barf on the White House blog. You let Peter out of that jail right now and give these people back their health clinic and their school. No! Hi, Lois. I like your shorts. Bye, Lois. Oh, my God! Enough is enough. That's your son-in-law and my husband. I know how families work, Lois. All right. Let him go. Yay! Lois, how much was your flight and which card did you put it on? The Body of Christ. Thank you, Father. Your voice! It's pristine! You know, one of our altar boys called in sick today. How would you like to fill in for him in the choir? Well, okay. But only if God will kill a bunch of babies for no reason. That's not a problem. God does that a lot in the Bible. You know, I don't care. You can't stop me. Just like people can't stop Peter from ordering shepherd's pie. And what can I get for you, sir? I'll have the shepherd's pie. I'm sorry, but that's not on the menu. Well, do you have potatoes? Yes. Butter? Yes. Cream? Yes. Salt? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Garlic? Yes. Onions? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Carrots? Yes. Eggs? Yes. Flour? Yes. Rosemary? Yes. Thyme? Yes. Chicken broth? Yes. Corn? Yes. Peas? Yes. Lightsaber? Remember when we did Star Wars? She said yes! My god, I'm cooler than that cheetah from the commercials! God, there is no drummer better than Neil Peart! It ain't easy being cheesy. <sighs> what was going on in here? The windows are steamed up like when Subway's making the bread. Hey, what's going on in here? We're making the bread, sir. Good. Now get back to making sandwiches with the shiniest turkey on earth. Subway, have it your way if your way is very wet. Uh, Mr. Quagmire, can I use your toothpaste? <gasps> oh my god, excuse me. Hey, no problem, Meg. You probably bought me another three minutes. Giggity, 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 giggity. Hey, Glenn, how's the arthritis? Oh, not bad. Of course, since you walked in, I'm feeling a little stiff. Giggity, giggity. Oh, I just pooped a little. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, this is an even bigger jackpot than when the Emperor figured out the formula for great Star Wars dialogue. Something, something, something. Dark side. Something, something, something complete. You gave away all the presents? Lois, if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir, everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Uh, 
I guess 60%? Okay, great. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you- Ah! Oh, you spilled something. You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. And what's next for Peter Griffin? Well, starting tomorrow, I'm getting back out there. I already got an audition to be the caring dad for a Cheerios commercial. Hey, Dad. Yeah, bud? When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, I wanted to be a rock star. Why didn't you become one? Because of you, bud. I smiled at one girl in a cell phone store, and now here I am stuck eating cereal for dinner with a kid. You'll always be a rock star to me, Dad. You ruined my life. I'm going to bed. All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No, you will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know which way the horse goes! Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me, and where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that! Ah! Time for a good door, bad door! Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa son, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad. But shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, you lose chess! Oh, hey, Stewie. Hey, sometimes when daddies drive home drunk, they come from far away places, but it's okay because they didn't get arrested and they're still kind of drunk, so they, they think it's okay. You should know that Mom has emotionally let you go. It won't be long before she takes a lover. Oh, my head! She already has two cell phones. Oh, my God! I... I married a hooker? Married? All right, bachelor party! Come on, back to Boston! <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. I guess we're not going. Hey, Stewie, here's five bucks. Get naked. I'm probably going to be a little down until I use the spray again. That's okay, Peter. Now come along. I've got quite the day planned for us. realize I've wasted most of my life being a pathetic jerk. You know, like you were at Disneyland. Hey, kid, can you duck down for this picture? What? Why? It's our family photo. You're kind of getting in the way. I'm not ducking down. You duck down. You're getting in my way. Stop being a brat and duck down. No way. In fact, I'm standing. They've got to be here somewhere. Where's my first lieutenant? Here I am, sir. Yes, sir. Right indeed. Here indeed. Yes, I am, sir. I want you to turn this settlement upside down until you find Lady Redbush and Griffin Peterson. That fat bastard thinks he can steal my bride and get away with it? I wouldn't bet a corn farthing on him escaping. No, I wouldn't. Not a corn farthing would I bet. No, sir. What's wrong with you? Little wrong in the head I am from eating some bad sausages. Yes, sir. Bad sausages did I eat indeed, sir. Yes, I did some bad sausages, ain't I? Oh, he's a snooze juicer. Okay. Wow, I didn't know Chris had this dark side to him. Oh, yeah. Chris has a major dark side. My dad is actually really scared of him. What? Who's there? Go back to sleep, Dad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're very precious to me. Now let's move on to the washing of the hands. This is a very important part of the ceremony. Hey, hey, hey! The Easter Bunny is here! Happy Easter! Peter, what the hell are you doing in that? Have you been drinking? Not since I got out of the car. Who here thinks I can kick my ass? Peter, you are not gonna ruin the Seder. Now get out of here! I'm sorry, kids. I just wanted to help Brian run for mayor. I guess I forgot what was really important. Peter, just go lie down. All right, I'm going to go lie down, and then I'm going to come back and mess up your shader. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? 
I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. Can we go now? Shut up, I'm having fun! Uh -oh. Oh, my, someone's awfully rude. Ah, my fanny is not on the menu! What? What the? Ah! 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 Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Ah! No, 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 I want to zip it. It's okay, Peter. You're good at other stuff. Mr. Weed, distinguished members of the board, may I present this year's hottest toy, Mr. Zucchini Head. He's got stupid cool hip-hop style with his little hat and his dark mountains. Uh, thank you, Peter, that's enough. Oh, wait, 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 this is the best part. He dances. I've seen How enough. I haven't had sex in four years. Gentlemen, I apologize for wasting your time. Peter is an adequate assembly line worker, but you'll be happy to know our company does not pay him to think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this. No calls. How are you coming, Johnson? Well, Mr. Weed, I've been working on the new G.I. Jew line, and as you can see, they look great. You call these bagels? <laughs> Whoa! I'm glad he's on our side. No, I love you for sake of me. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Weed, um, I heard you ran into my identical twin brother at the ball game yesterday. And if you don't buy that, I'm sorry I was at the ball game yesterday. Peter, I just received terrible news. This company has been taken over by a conglomerate. After 23 years of faithful service, I've been terminated. Wow, the business world sure is funny. That must be him. Oh, God. I hope that thing doesn't happen where I get nervous and I can't control the volume of my voice. Hello, Peter. How are you? Fine! Please come in. It's so nice to have you over, Mr. Weed. Thank you, Mrs. Griffin. I understand that you have a beautiful family. Yes, we do. But the children won't be joining us for dinner. It's almost their bedtime. Attention, please. Tomorrow is softball practice. We have a lot of work to do for Saturday's game. Let's not forget how badly we were humiliated last year by potock and joke and novelty. <laughs> Look at those morons in their stupid glasses. Attention, everyone. Due to several complaints and the two deaths related to worker fatigue, I have decided to throw a company picnic this Saturday. Peter! What the... Are you sleeping on the job? Uh, uh no, there's a, a bug in my eye and I'm trying to suffocate him. Peter, I like you, but I need you to be more than just eye candy around here. It's your job to watch for any toys that could be hazardous to children. Now look sharp! Uh, yes, sir. <sighs> No, 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 I just rented it. Yeah, they're gonna be ticked, though. The penis broke off while I was loading it into the car. I shall call you Eduardo. Peter, please. Miss Ironbacks, I assure you this company in no way condones Peter's conduct. In fact, a film on employee relations has been a mandatory part of our personnel training for 50 years. Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. They are very insecure about their appearance. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day, even if they're homely and unkempt. You're doing a great job, Muriel, and you're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. 
And remember, nothing says good job like a firm open palm slap on the behind. This year we will defeat those pranksters with our secret weapon, Guillermo. Bravo! I hired Guillermo because I believe he will be an asset to our company on and off the field. You have impeccable credentials. I'm sure I can find a position for you somewhere. Back to work, people! All right, all right, let's not panic. Nobody even knows about this yet. Police! Random dead body search! Oh my God, Lois, stall him! Peter, what are you doing? Just, just stall him, Lois! Dad, don't you have to work today? <laughs> it's nothing a little phone call can't take care of. Hello? Mr. Weed, I can't come to work today. I was in a terrible plane crash. My entire family was killed, and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Huh? Oh, please, Peter. Your excuses are lamer than FDR's legs. <gasps> Too soon? Peter, our new secret weapon is this very attractive paraplegic. <laughs> okay, Joe. You got me. <laughs> Rise and shine. Come on. Stand and deliver. Get the hell up. <laughs> You're a hoot, Peter. The winner of our final contest will receive a very special prize, a week's paid vacation. Did you hear that? Oh, God, pl please let it be farting. Please let it be a fart contest. These are tranquilizer darts. I have enough here to take down Robert Downey Jr. Oh, <laughs> Robert Downey, yeah. yes. Well, the last one left standing wins. Let the game begin. I guess it's just down to you and me, Peter. One of us is gonna win that paid vacation. <laughs> but I, I don't wanna feed Grandma bacon while she's in the bathtub. Peter, are you okay? <laughs> Mr. Weed, I think Peter needs a duck. <laughs> we have a winner! Here, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. It's nice that your family is here, Peter. If your ringer doesn't arrive soon, you can spend every day with him. At home. Oh, uh, he'll be here, Mr. Weed. Oh, you should see this guy in action. He can hit, he can throw. Peter! What's he doing in a wheelchair? Holy crap, he's a crapple. Glad to see you all found your way over from the cemetery. I'm Leonard Hale, Mr. Weed's lawyer. We found this tape among Mr. Weed's personal effects with instructions that it be screened immediately following his funeral. Enjoy. Good morning. Camera time. Turn that off. I don't have my face on yet. I'm ugly. You, you want to tell us a little something about what you're making there? I will tell you. It's just a couple of eggs with the peppers left over from last night. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay, now playtime is over. Turn it off, monkey, okay? <gasps> <clears throat> Hello, friends. If you are watching this, I am dead, and I bet you're pretty bummed. But I have good news. Yeah? The happy-go-lucky toy factory shall be torn down to make way for the happy-go-lucky terminal disease institute. What? The demolition will begin in now. And it seems the happy-go-lucky toy company of Quahog, Rhode Island, has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy, throw the silly ball. Oh, boy, a pound poochie. Come on, baby Heimlich, spit it out. Peter, I am appalled. Your negligence has damaged this company's reputation. You're fired! Ah, oh, jeez, for how long? Oh, uh, wait here, Dad. Hey, uh, Mr. Weed? Peter! Um, listen, I was wondering if you might have a job for my dad. Your father? He must be a man of at least 70. Oh, yeah, but he's in great shape, eh? Well, well except his prostate. Hey, at 2 a.m. last night, I thought a horse was using the bathroom. Peter! All finished. What's next? Oh, yeah. You did my whole day's work in five minutes. We should sell you to the circus, you freak. I've never seen such productivity. How is this possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. Because this man always put his job before everything else. His wife, his health, even his own son. Especially his own son. I need here no more. Everyone, this is your new shop foreman. Welcome aboard, sir. Lead us, you see fit. How hard can it be to pitch? Uh, okay, take your base. Somebody call 911. Tell them he's allergic to penicillin and white Zinfandel. Idiot! If you don't find a ringer to replace Guillermo, you're fired! 
Mmm, who would think that a woman with such beauty would also have the culinary skills of Emera Lagasse? Ah, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Peter, don't you have something to say to Mr. Weed? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Weed, I don't care what the guys at work say. I never thought you were an effeminate weirdo. Uh, uh so, uh, what, what kind of a name is Weed? They gave it to my grandfather on Ellis Island. Our original name was Bermuda Grass. Peter, being here with your wonderful family, your beautiful home, and your funny-talking dog, well, I'm impressed. In fact, starting Monday, I would like to promote you to head of toy development. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, thanks, Mr. Weed. Oh, you won't be sorry. <laughs> Brian, quit it. You're embarrassing me here. Peter, Brian's choking. Do the Heimlich maneuver quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <gasps> Why congratulate me on a right and natural turn of events? Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Hey, Horace, get that wiener out of your hand and give us three more beers over here. Ha, <laughs> Lois, you're always giving me the business. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Horace, why don't you take that wiener out of your hand and give me a beer? Don't talk to me that way, you son of a bitch. What about Mr. Demerson? Is he single? I, I... I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you? Oh, oh, hey, look! Cake! I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. Ah! Uh, oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. We now return to. Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, you're oh my awesome. God, you're so, so cool. Don't cool. hit Sam. Don't hit, hit Sam. Sam. And send. You son of a bitch. I told you. What did he do now? He don't listen to you. He don't listen to you. He endeavors to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicket keeper hasn't whipped his bales off, of course. Can anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. <whistles> yeah, baby! I want a piece of that. You suck! Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. God, will you guys just shut up back there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, gross! Will you stop it? Stop it! <laughs> hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> hey, Meg, don't be such a hothead. Now I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. He's got Rupert! Hey, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! No man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Katherine Keener man now. But, Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup.
Oh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. You have more than one shed? Of course, you always need an extra shed. I even got one shed that just has an extra shed in it. You guys talking about sheds? Hell yes, I love my sheds. Me too. High five on sheds. Sheds! Sheds! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! Hey, did that big Boomba Boomba nurse come in here? Uh, no. But Dr. Hartman, is my brother gonna be okay? That's her! That's her! Hi, Juanita! Hello, Doctor. Was that weird? Was I just weird? Kind of. You don't know, I was fine. Ooh, look, there's Mort's house! Oh, but I hope he doesn't have some gross Jewish candy, like, like Rugelach or, or Hamantaschen or, or, or ha 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 right, 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 Brian? Hey, uh, I'm new here, but you know what would be crazy? If me, a guy, went in the girls' room with you two. I mean, <laughs> that would be, that would be so wild. We should, we should totally just go in there. Brian, stop. That'd be hilarious. I'm in. Should we go wait in the car? No, we are here to get information about Chris. I should go wait in the car. Go out dancing. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of cozy tonight, kind of mellow. I just really want to go dance. Oh, <gasps> there it is again. What is that? All right, this is going to blow you guys away. <laughs> What do you got to say over there? What do you got to say over Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh. And her hooters ain't bad either. Now hang on a second there. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. Look at this, Lois. See, right here. I was voted most likely to succeed. Peter, that's not you. That's not even a yearbook. That's a People magazine. Oh. I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. <laughs> you Get out of here! I'll kill you! But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. I think it's in March? <laughs> Stewie, are you crazy? That's so loud, the guards will hear. Don't worry about it, Brian. Hey, what's going on down there? Nothing. All right. Meow. Purr. Purr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. I haven't been this embarrassed since I was a rookie firefighter. Sorry, first day, still learning. You been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, officer. I just had a glass of dinner with my wine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car and walk a straight line, please. Oh, no, This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind of- Hey, hey, that's the guy. That's the guy whose chin looks like a... a... balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. Sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. So what's for dinner? You said we were having Italian? Yeah, and then I realized I'm not good at making fettuccine Alfredo, but I am good at making reservations. Oh. <laughs> you get it? Oh, God, I'm so bad. He has come to me all the way from America. His name is Brian Griffin, and my heart belongs to him. <gasps> Quick, everyone's looking at the dog. Go, go, go. So, I just want to lay a few ground rules. Yep. I promise we're going to have fun, but there will be a uh -huh. schedule just to keep everything sure, running smoothly. Have boundaries. And I may assign That's a great, chore Nick. or two because it's actually more Sounds fun like when you got everyone it all worked pitches out. in. Hey, by the way. <laughs> we'll be closing in two minutes. <laughs> I think you've had about enough. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I th I think you're wrong, you increasingly attractive looking woman. You know, you're you're really pretty. Oh, stop. No, I'm I'm serious. You could you could be in magazines. You you could. Now, if you ladies don't mind stepping out, I have to reprimand Danny McBride next. Mr. McBride, do you know why you're here? Yeah, maybe because I'm awesome and you're a gay homosexual and also the word jet ski a lot. <laughs> but now I'm starting to sober up, so I'm going to need one to keep an even playing field. All right, but it stays between us. And what if they card you? Don't worry, I got it covered. Don't worry, I only hired women whose names are cookie-related. Lois, meet cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, hey, butter. Some guys like butter. Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now? You stupid son of a bitch! Peter, face it, without Quagmire, we're boring. Oh, come on, that ain't true. Yes, it is. He had all the fun ideas. Remember, he even took me parasailing. This is awesome! It's like I'm flying! Woohoo! I've never felt so alive! Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right! It was the fish part of me that wanted him! Oh, come on, this'll change your mind. Oh my god, quick, do something! It's not working, get rid of it! Get your family out of that house! If they don't leave, they'll die! Round up your family and get out or you're all gonna be sorry! Get out now! See, kids, I told you we'd make friends here. I guess me getting transferred by the Xerox Corporation wasn't the worst thing after all. Well, we made it. East Bola. All right, let's find our prince and get my money back. Get down on the ground. Yeah. This is unacceptable. I demand to speak to Anthony Anderson. <laughs> okay, hold on. Shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I answer this call. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Yes, I did call you about the eight-piece lawn croquet set. Now, it says weathered. Just how weathered is it? Yeah, go ahead and send me a pic. That'll be very helpful. Sir, shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I look at these pictures. Peter, we have a hamper. Stop throwing your dirty clothes in the toilet. Peter? Peter, where are you? What's all this? Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the peak pad, where the dancing's hot, the drinks are hot, Everything's just freaking hot. What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't... I didn't mean... No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone. And before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween candy! Peter, get out of the pantry! Oh, I can't believe I just kissed my friend's wife. I'm a bigger scumbag than Spock. I heard that there was a Romulan ship spotted in our sector, which means... Hey! Hey! Chadley wants to have a play date here at my house! Well, that's great! No, it's not! I can't let him see this dump! Come on, Stewie. Chadley should like you for who you are. Besides, this place isn't so bad. Brian, Chadley's parents each have their own bathroom. I've seen the fat man pee through Lois's legs while she's sitting on the toilet. What I've got to do is find a spectacular house that I can pretend is mine to impress Chadley. Well, why don't you just use Babs and Carter's? I can't. They're having an eyes-wide shot party all weekend. I can't find my wiener with this mask. All right, time out. Let's, let's all just find our wieners and then put the masks back on. Huh. I know I left the ring right here. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it.
What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mo. Oh my god, this can't be happening! Chris, that was a diamond ring! Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Okay, yeah, yeah, we just, we just gotta force Chris to poop, that's all. Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> that's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! Ah! Yeah, they're gonna die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes-open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, so how'd it go last night? Well, let's just say I got asked to come back tonight. You're kidding, it actually went over well? I figured you'd be terrible. Why would you think that? Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you do in there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. Oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. That's the guy who emailed me? Huh. No wonder it was all caps with tons of typos. He's a waterhead, right? Yeah, he's a mess. Look at his ugly kids. Pathetic. Ugh, he's not bitten. Just put some of them in the back like skis. Uh, 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 uh. Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. And you know, Glenn, after you moved away, Buttercup had kittens. <gasps> what? That's right. You're a grandfather. My God. This is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Not then, it's stupid. Holy crap, we, we, we gotta, gotta get out of here. Aw, oh, man, the library. White Fang, this is for ruining my eighth grade summer. They ruined my summer, too. Oh, damn it, it's locked! Oh, my God, somebody must have locked us in. We're gonna die in here. Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. Okay, now if you're gonna defeat your sister in the ring, you gotta get to the root of your fears. We gotta go back to your childhood, so I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, go back. 
Now we need to go back in time. My jeans are husky. Okay, further, further, a little further. Now open your eyes and tell me what you see. I see the six stations of the Lord's Order, and they will all burn! There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. Maybe that one. I, I have no idea what you're pointing at, Joe. You gotta meet us halfway. Look, guys, I don't want to be a burden to anyone. You go ahead and live your lives. I'll be fine. We can't just leave you, Joe. So before we go, I'm gonna put the remote in your mouth. Here's a can of chili. And the opener will put in your mouth. And here's a magazine I thought you might like to read. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. And you probably don't want any reminders of Bonnie around the house, so I cleared out all of her underwear. Quagmire, neither he nor his assistant is available. To schedule a liaison, press 1. To cancel a liaison, press 2. If you're calling to report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Chris, this is your mother. Get these dildos out of the dishwasher. doing here? Quagmire? Uh, oh, uh, uh, I have a hobby that takes me this way. Hey, I'm freezing. You got a blanket in there or something? I got a towel, but it's wet because I'm eating peaches. I lied about the hobby. I was sinning. I'm going to drive away backwards now. Now, I, I understand the show was quite different when it started. Yeah, in the original pilot, I was actually the star. It was called Chris Griffin, Teen Doctor. Sir, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Well, it can't be any worse than what's in here. <laughs> I ad-libbed that line. I wasn't even supposed to talk. What they didn't know is that I'd been privately doing jokes about the newspaper for years. Peter, I need you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get like eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Oh, can't the kids just walk? You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. No, Peter, they can't walk. It's three miles. <sighs> Fine, I'll take them. But you better keep those goggles, because I'm going to put them to good use tonight. Once the floor is full of sawdust, we can eat peanuts in here. Correct, Quagmire. I'm going in for gender reassignment surgery. What the hell, Peter? First my dad, now you? Am, am I is it, Am I doing this to people? Is it, do you guys feel like cutting off your penises? No, but I can turn it inside out like rolling up a dress sock. You guys aren't supporting my choice? Well, what do you expect, Peter? I, I mean, a sex change operation? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. <laughs> Ew. I mean, yay. Oh, hey, Chris. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck.
When are you gonna do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bull. Hey, where's Chris? He's over there playing that carnival game. Step right up. Everybody take a chance on a whack a big a pussy. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. This is not what I thought it was. Oh, my God. Chris is out of control. I know. Must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV. Oh. Yeah, I listen. <laughs> I'm actually very hungry. Nobody's going to want you if you're fat. You want to eat? Get up to that bar and earn your keep. Well, what should I ask for, 500? You're not worth that much. You're trash. Ask for two. You know I hit you and whore you out because I love you, right? Hi there. You want a party? And can I have some of your bread? Hi, handsome. You can't have my bread, but you can have something of mine that smells like bread. <gasps> Okay, let's go. Just so you know, it takes me a long time. Hi, are you a straight adult male who likes to eat crepes without people making unwanted assumptions about your private life? Go to discreetcrepe.com, place your order, and within 30 minutes... Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. Oh, thank you. Mmm, strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. Now oh, I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of and I got myself a night. We finally made it, Brian. We're in India. Excuse me, man with no pupil, where can we get a taxi cab around here? All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 And what's this giant, empty, football stadium-sized room? Oh, the post office anticipates that within the next five years, at least 200 million men in this country will be ordering and receiving real dolls. Every man will have seven to nine real dolls. Asians, blonde southern girls, blonde Asians capable of performing every possible sexual act, or at least incapable of refusing. You can put one in your car and drive in the carpool lane with it, and then maybe you push her head down, thus defeating the purpose of the carpool lane while fulfilling the purpose of the real doll. Maybe a trucker goes by. You say, hey, Janine, give him a show. Maybe later you ask yourself some tough questions like, why is it so important to you to impress and excite truckers? Anywho, grab that letter opener. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Oh, thank God. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. There's a lot of great things about having a sex drive that you're missing out on. Like what? Well, there's the post-orgy meals at a swingers party. Come on, let's eat with these wonderful people. Hey, everybody. Try my wife's ambrosia. If you like my wife's sniz, you're gonna love her ambrosia. I was thinking about this seven-layer dip the whole time I was chowing Ronald. I don't like this. I want to go home. You know what's sad? There's hardly any other fathers and sons here. Wow, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good. Just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. And here's a trick to keep that confidence up. You go in that room and imagine everyone in it wants you sexually. I'm doing it right now. And I feel powerful. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go psych out these other kids. Hey, little guy. Nervous? Sure, yeah. Here's something that might help you. <coughs> hey, little guy. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words!
Okay, Stewie, you're just gonna drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, bye, juice! That was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Whoa, 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 no TV for you, Chris. TV is how stupid losers spend their time. Peter, what is this all about? I'm trying to save our son, Lois. I don't want him to end up like me. Dead-end job, crappy house, aging wife who's getting skinny where fat's supposed to be and fat where skinny's supposed to be. Ha! <laughs> Mag, go to your room. Why do you still read the newspaper? Nobody does that anymore. I like to keep up on local news. Huh. Most of these arrests are Cleveland. And the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. Is that... is that you? Oh, yeah. A friend invited me to this charity ball. A friend? She's a hundred! Older women are cultured, worldly. I've got nothing to be defensive about. Her husband passed away. She appreciates my friendship. I don't like it. <clears throat> oh my god, I know that sound! That means there's a potential intruder at the front door of one of my pals. Either way, I'm really excited and ready for anything! Hello? <laughs> Coming up, that bush in the park is my bush. It's my bush. Hey, Mom, can I pull my pants down? If she doesn't answer, does that mean yes? That's what I've been going with. Yay! <laughs> I want to get in on that. <laughs> Mine's better. Mine's better. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think... I, no. The oil in the lamp lasted for eight days, and that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? We now return to Mark Wahlberg in Annoyed and Confused. What? What's going on? I don't get it. Man, I gotta work out. What's going on here? Where am I? What the... Huh? What the hell's going on here? Huh? What? Think about what you're saying. Parker Lewis can't lose. Heretofore, Batman can suck on that. Suck on that? Suck on this! Tic Tacs have only one and a half calories. Well played. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Good night, everybody! Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Now it's everywhere! That's comedy. <laughs> See, if you had said something like, Oh, it's half past a freckle. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of the three of you. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this guy. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Where's this guy been? Hey, Stewie, can I talk to you for a sec? Look, Brian, I've colored Sebastian the Crab blue. If that isn't a middle finger to society, I don't know what is. Uh, I don't like it anymore. I wish I'd colored him red. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yell, 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 yell. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Oh my, oh, my. oh my god, Peter. Yeah, I'll tell you, and I'm your friend, and I'll be honest with you, that's funny. I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. Now go, bananas. Go, go, bananas. Go! Whoa! Come on, you guys, do it with me. Go, bananas! Yeah! <laughs> on your marks, get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. Keep the change. <laughs> now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes. Now go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> Yay! I ad-libbed that line. Well, I had no idea I was dating a famous actor.
Have archaeologists ever discovered ancient Egyptian pottery in her vagina? You know what? And that one was too wordy. That one was too wordy. That, that, was, that was flawed from the ground up. It wasn't funny, and we'll work on it and get back to you. <sighs> Here we go. Playboy's Women of the Olympics. Wow, those are some broad shoulders. Okay, I guess small boobs are good for swimming. That, that, those are balls. Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. Giggity? Oh, I say that. And Mr. Chinaman say in his Chinaman way, a ding a ling a ching a chong a ching a chong chu. You're the new housekeeper, aren't you? See. Si. Listen, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm missing about a thousand dollars in play money. I take. Uh, what? What? You you took it? See. Si. We'll give it back. Come get, bitch. No, no. There once was a boy who liked to suck his thumbs. His mother asked him to stop, but he wouldn't. So she cut off his thumbs. Now he has no thumbs. Good night. The African American Heart Monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he did. You look very nice. What else? Uh. What about my shoe? They're nice too. How you think my house smell? Not oniony. You good man? I pat you on the head and feed you from the hand. Hi, chair. That's still a chair. Chair. Say something other than chair. What if I can't think of anything? You can pass. How do I pass? Just say it. Say what? Say pass. Chair. I think you've had enough, Peter. Ah, you don't know. You get away! I, I know my body better than you. Hey, good looking. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh, we should totally phone Gaspard. Oh, he would love to hear this tale. Oh, but I only have 15 Fennecs on my phone card. Happy Gerbits Day. Oh, 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 oh. For I am not who you think I am. I am not Little Mary Sunflower, daughter of Bradley and Teresa Sunflower. No, I'm not. I'm Desmond Sunflower! Desmond Sunflower! Go for a ride in the car? Huh? Come on! Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. So what do you say we get this casting session started, huh? Let's do it! Yeah! yeah. Alright! All right. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... A red guy! Who's the douchebag who keeps dying? I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. Look, if you're no good, why don't you just go hide till the end? All right, I'll go crouch behind the, uh, is this a crouch button? Ah, oh, who dropped the grenade? Idiot! We're not playing! Moron! You suck! Mr. Peter, Mr. Joe, Mr. Bonnie. She doesn't know what Mr. means. Mr. Mort, Mr. Muriel. Mayor West, mister. Well, he could be. It all depends on what his astrological sign is. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. What's going on, B minus? What's a heps? Come on. Oop. I. Oop. Just. Oop. You. Oop. This is. Oop. Can I. Oop. I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious? Hey, Griffin! Griffa! Griffa Mano! Griffa Mano! I've got veins. They carry blood all over my body. 
That's how John Mayer would say it. Baddie. I'm really into him now. You better be okay with it! This is my old bicycle that I had from when I was 10. Are you still going out with him? I guess so. I hate how he pushes his bangs out of his face with every word he says. Um, order me a beer. I have to find a spot for my motorcycle. Hey, buddy. Where are all your pals? Playing baseball. Well, why aren't you playing with them? Because I don't have a glove. Oh, yeah? Gee, just for me? No fooling? Nah, just kidding. It's mine. Oh, yeah. Sweetie, since when do you wear reading glasses? What, these? I've had these forever. Honey, those aren't real. Sure they are. No, they're not. I can see the little Austin Powers logo on the side. What are you talking about? These are my glasses. Yeah, baby! I'm not quite so sure I can find my way. Please leave a message at the beep. Alan, it's me again. Remember that turtle joke for the party. <laughs> Uh, Brian, this feels weird. Hit the button. <laughs> um, we know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um, hi. This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind <laughs> Ow! Everybody! Everybody! Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure? You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch! I'm gonna punch you in the face. So, you want to get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. The rooster goes... Kikrigi! Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Macaque! No, 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 it does not! The elephant goes... Fwomp! Oh, yeah, kinda. Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. We brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha, ha, ha. All right, maybe I'll have one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Why would you do that? <laughs> hey, you guys, Lois says it's time for dinner. So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember your face! A lot of people say that Stacy's no good and that she slept with this guy and done that guy and even did some handwork on this guy. But I'll tell you something, that experience is gonna work in her favor late in the game. You know what a heck of a wedding? Brett Favre. And then we go to an A minor, getting a little cloudy out here, looking like we might have some weather. Then we go to E minor, oh, definitely got some weather, things are a little more complicated than they seemed at first. And then we go back to my house. Hey, hey, that's the guy. That's the 
guy whose chin looks like a a balls. <laughs> <laughs> We can go where we want to, place where they will never find, and we can act like we come from a. No, 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 no! Oh, that's got all my stink of the day in it. That's nasty. So how'd the medical experiments go? So good, Lois, so good. I'm gonna squeeze right in here if my thighs will let me. Oh na 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 Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kinda waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Hello? What the? What, what, who's there? What's going on? Whatever's happening here, just knock it off. Oh, cool. Look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Ah! Touchdown! Dear Lord, please give me the cheat codes for Mike Tyson's punch out. I have been stuck on Bald Bull for four years. I tried left, left, up, B, dodge, uppercut, but he still knocks me out. And, you know, they say you're supposed to go right, B, up, dodge, left, up, a... <laughs> Listen to me telling you how to play the game. You can get a scratching post down at Walmart for $2, pair of Lee jeans for $9. You know, they got seats for children now. You put them right in your car. Supposed to make them safer. Only problem is you can't lean your seat all the way back. Oh. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. No. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with, with a blacky weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Wow, my favorite. PB and J with the crust cut off. What'd you get? Your crusts. That's it? No. I also got an orange peel and a picture of mom eating a turkey leg. Chris Griffin, you are undoubtedly the most unpopular boy in school. I am? What about Smiley McGee over there? Hello. Lois, I'm fat and I'm stupid and I fart at times that ruin my father-in-law's social occasions and that's why I'm never invited to them. You pay me now? Ooh, there's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding, you suck. No, just kidding, you suck. Queer. Queer? <laughs> When I'm lost in your eyes. I don't even care. They don't know what they is talking about. Next time they hear about me, they, they, they's gonna be like, we was wrong about Stewie. Cause, cause that's gonna be huge. I, that's gonna be bigger than every one of all y'alls. I got you now, mouth! Yeah? Well, up your ass, cat. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Run fast, run fast, quickly! I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. I've got so many problems. Hey, nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. These problems matter. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, you're awesome. Oh my awesome. god, you're, you're so, so cool. cool. Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha ha! Hey guys, let's go swim in the old quarry! Yeah! Wait a minute, kids. Don't go swimming in that quarry. It's dangerous. Wow! Thanks, G.I. Jose! You know, you're not supposed to be in the house, Brian. You're more of an outdoor dog. What the hell does that mean? I ain't done nothing to antagonize nobody. What, a droid can't walk down the desert no more? I got rights, too. Who's there? <laughs> Thank you, we're the Cantina Band. If you have any requests, shout them out. Play that same song. All right, same song. Here we go. Did you hear something? Probably just another drill. 
you know that last drill we had? I was about to finally bone my girlfriend and then we heard that there was this drill and she told me there was no way. Oh, Vince Vaughn's on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Here's my summary of every Vince Vaughn movie. Oh, I'm incapable of loving another person. Oh wait, no I'm not. The end. I don't even want to look at his face. Which calls to mind the question once again, why, with all the two-armed youngsters waiting in the minor leagues, does this team stick with an armless second baseman? And he hasn't had a hit in ever. In ever, Jerry. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Yeah. Oh, and you got a little tear in your pants there. Oh, that's on purpose, though, isn't it? Uh, uh, you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Society wants your pants to be intact, but you're just not going to listen, are you? Look at this one. A desk of Cheez-Its. A desk? Where, where are you getting these units of measurement from? Mary. <laughs> that is still funny. Okay, you stay right here, big funny gal. I'll be right back with... A hammock of cake. Don't worry, I'm not taking you pansies. I'm taking my new friends. But this is Parker, Quentin, and Portland. Is Portland the black one? Portland is the black one. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. This is a song I wrote last summer. It's called Water. My hair is growing, growing all the time. All right, sweetie, you ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks!